Hello everyone, I'm Alan, also known as McLaren2009, and today I'm giving you a quick system overview of my most recent creation for the Stormworks Workshop. I built a somewhat secure video transmitter and receiver. And the whole point of this system is so that you can send a video feed between vehicles and not have it seen by someone who doesn't have the access code for it. So, what it does is you have a transmitter and a receiver, both conveniently enough have the same size microcontroller, The transmitter takes any video input feed. In this case, the video feed is coming from a camera right here. But it can be any video feed. It could even be something as trivial and harmless as, say, my flipping hazmat placards using using the draw function in Lua scripts. You can use it for anything that transmits a video signal. So, for just the transmitter alone, you have two video antennas and a radio antenna. I found out that the uh, radio or the video transmit antennas are always on, which is a little bit odd. So in my test set, I had to put in a relay so that they're only transmitting when I want them to transmit, but that's not important. Bottom line is you have one antenna is sending just a black screen, just static. And then the other one is transmitting your actual video feed. And they're both active simultaneously, and they're on two different frequencies. So it makes it so that they're both active, and they both go to the same receiver or they have the same video feed, so you only see the video feed for the correct channel once you input the chosen passcode. So, you go over to the receiver, which is compatible with the system, but it's the exact opposite. So, you have two video receiver antennas and a radio antenna. The radio antenna is for transmitting the passcode. And for the case of the receiver, it's uh, receiving the passcode. So, as of right now, they're all on frequency or channel zero, and there's no passcode set. So turn off the transmitter so that you can see that it is, in fact, turned off when you want it to be turned off. As you can see, the electrical relay right here is off, which also means so are these. So, let's turn the transmitter back on, and let's show how this is secure-ish. Okay. So, let's put it on 3, let's put this on 3, and this on 3. Now, the thing is that this is the frequency, but I've modified it in the microcontrollers. The actual frequency is in the thousands. So, just like with a normal 
a two digit hundred frequency frequency selector, you're not gonna find this frequency conventionally. You have to use like some kind of frequency scanner. Which that's entirely too much work for me to put into just playing Stormworks. So we're not gonna worry about that. Alright, so as you can see, we currently do not have a passcode set. No passcode set anywhere. So let's turn on this passcode. Let's just set it to 123. Okay, now they are both on the same channel, but they don't have the passcode. So let's go over to here and let's put in the passcode. Just like that, it appears. So, the thing that it's doing, and what makes this whole thing work, is that both antennas <clears throat> are active, and they're on two different frequencies. They are on the same uh, frequency for A and B, is the same for the transmitter and the receiver. So when you're setting it up, you have to make sure that you have antenna A and antenna B. And then in order for the passcode system to work, you need to have the uh, radio antenna on the same frequency. It doesn't matter if it's A or B. All that matters is that the uh, transmitter and receiver both have the passcode on the same frequency. Otherwise, the system won't work. Now, I could have made it so that the, the radio antenna has its own special frequency, but I just didn't bother with it. I don't really know why, I just didn't. So the radio antenna has to be connected to the same frequency as one of the transmitting antennas, and it has to be connected to the same designated receiving antenna in order for the frequencies to match. So, with uh, both transmitters active and both receivers active on their designated frequencies but only one output video feed, you're getting both video signals simultaneously, but it's only going to show you the video feed, or it's only going to show you the real video feed once you've input the code. Now, it's not a particularly secure system. It's literally just as simple as broadcasting on two different channels and then having them both feed into the same video output in the microcontroller. But the thing is, at a passing glance, you'll look at this system and say we had... Uh, three completely different vehicles right here. If you go in and this one is set to three, this one is set to three, you might not think anything of it. So only if you know the code can you get the proper video feed. It's a very simple system and it's just kind of yet another one of my somewhat unnecessary communication security systems that I've made for Stormworks. It's not impervious to electronic attack. In theory, you could find out what the codes or what the frequencies going to the antennas are, find that frequency, type it in with a keypad, and you can watch the video. But if you're just using it um, on a vehicle and you don't necessarily know what antenna is uh, A and which one is B, 
you're down to like a 50-50 shot to figure out which antenna is which. So when you tune into that frequency, you don't know if you're getting the uh, black screen or if you're getting the actual video feed. So in theory, if you really wanted to add some protection to it, just add more video antennas to your vehicles. Both transmit and receive, just add more of them. Give them dummy frequencies and connect them to nothing. It is truly that simple. And then you could probably do like some frequency scanning and try to find out what's active, but if they're all active and they're all sending something, even if it's a completely erroneous black screen, the problem fixes itself. So, for my purposes, this system works perfectly as I designed it. Now, in order to install the system, you can install the transmitter. All you need is a keypad to set your code, a uh, instrument panel, and a power button. You can have a optional video monitor so that you have a feed of what's being transmitted, but you don't necessarily need it. All you need is just the instrument panel set up like this. Frequency up, frequency down, frequency display, and system power. And this turns on the backlights, essentially. And also the optional monitor. And then for the receiver, you need the keypad for the passcode, the same instrument panel, and a video monitor for the... Uh, video feed and it will either output snow or if you have it on the right channel and the right passcode it'll transmit your quote unquote secure video feed and then the uh, microcontrollers themselves are actually fairly self-explanatory i want to say it's a three by four for each of them and then you'll need batteries for electricity. But other than that, the system is very easy to use. It's really easy to set up. It's easy to use. And it honestly wasn't all that hard to make compared to, like, my uh, secure data system, which actually uses an encryption or which uses a substitution cipher to change number data. It's not nearly that complicated, and it's not even particularly useful in the game, but I made it one day because I was bored and I was wondering if it could be, if it could be done. Well, I found out live on stream that yes, it can be done, and this is the end result. So, this is... A brief showcase and overview of both my secure video transmitter and secure video receiver. So, hopefully that adequately explains what this system is, what you use it for, and how you use it. So, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.